America's greatest homecoming was capped off with a field storming. For the seventh time in the Mike Gundy era, OSU knocks off a top 10 team, and last night's upset of Texas might just have saved a season as well. Losers in three of four Big 12 games with their backs against the wall. The Cowboys responded on the practice field and against the Longhorns. The synopsis of this whole deal is, is, and I'm being honest with you, our kids worked our ass off for two weeks. They really did. I didn't have to do anything other than say, let's get a smile on our face, let's go practice hard, and um, put our big boy pants on. And that's what they did. We were the tougher team today. I feel like that was one thing we were uh, working on all week. We had to come out and be the tougher team, and I feel like we did that today. This, it's times like these that kind of reveal your true character and your, your true culture of what your program is all about. It was crazy, you know, uh, my first time, you know, ever having that happen, you know. So uh, a lot of jumping and pushing around, you know, everybody wants to high five, you know. Somebody lifted me up, I didn't, I, I don't know how I felt about that, but uh, it was a great atmosphere. Oh, I thought they definitely fed off the crowd. I mean, what an unbelievable atmosphere. And I think that that helps um, defensively to, to have that kind of atmosphere. Now, for much of the year, and especially the last two weeks, quarterback Taylor Cornelius has taken a beating from the fan base on Twitter and social media. Mike Gundy never wavered in support of his senior quarterback, and last night it was rewarded with 321 passing yards and five total touchdowns. After the game, Gundy teeing off on some of those armchair quarterbacks on social media. Yeah, oh, I'd give a rat's ass about Twitter. It's a platform for people that are sitting home drawing an unemployment check, sitting in front of a keyboard. I'm very proud of the kid for, for everything, not just tonight, but just his whole career. You know, it's just, it would be very shallow, I think, to just say I'm really proud of him all of a sudden right now. Very proud of him, but more happy for him tonight. Oh, for sure. He doesn't, he doesn't even phase him, honestly. He doesn't pay attention to it, and uh, we always keep him up. We know that we trust in him, and he knows that. So I feel like he went out and did his thing today. Yeah, they, I know they always got my back. Uh, I mean, it's been like that since week one, and I always got theirs. Uh, I mean, we're a, we're a tight-knit group, and uh, we're going to play for each other each week like Coach Gundy talks about, and we did that tonight.